Okay, so as you can see in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, this is about 11.01 p.m. on November 3rd. This is election night in Fulton County at the State Farm Arena. What you see toward the back are the tables that contain the scanners for the absentee ballots. You see at least five individuals back there. This is after the press has gone, the Republican observers are gone, the people who are separating the ballots from the envelopes are gone. So these are the only people left behind. At about this time, which is about half an hour after everyone else cleared out, I believe the, uh, the workers cleared out at about 10.30, the observers cleared out closer to 10.40, you're going to watch each of these individuals begin pulling cases out from under that black table in the lower center of the screen. Unbelievable. This happens between 11 and 11.07, so give him just a second. Here we go. So one by one, they'll be there. And so, you know, according to the Georgia statute 21-2483B, all of this has to be open to the public. That means the press, it means Republican observers. They cannot do proceedings behind closed doors. Proceedings means counting, for example. If they're going to restart the count, then under Georgia statute, it's 21-2493, the superintendent has to give due notice of when the tabulations process will publicly commence. And this due notice has to be continued from day to day until the vote is completed. Again, that's the two separate Georgia laws that are clearly being violated here. <laughs> 